What is up everybody, welcome to this new video of TechPress. In today's tutorial, let's take a look into how you can inspect spy our competitors at Shopify. So the very first thing you want to do now that we are here into our browser, we want you to look out for a few toads that can be helping us to reveal competitor secrets so we can track how these this guys are doing great or bad, what this this guys are doing wrong or great. So we're gonna be using the one that says Koala Inspector. You need to have a Chrome browser in order to have this enabled. So what I want to do is to add this extension using the chrome.google.com and inside here you want to look out for a Shopify Spire called Koala Inspector. This one should be taking us into the Koala apps. So it's gonna be just really, really easy to add this extension here. I'm gonna head down into my extensions and here I'm gonna scroll up it down and you can see here's the Koala Inspector. I want to just pin this so I can see this now into the upper side of my actual browser. And there we go. So the installation was really, really easy, right? So as you can see, this one is actually free forever. Simple and easy, shop transparency, and fast and lightweight. So what I wanted to do is to input here my email, agree to the terms and service, agree to opt into our newsletter. This is actually totally optional. So you want to go into start now, and boom. The installation process is now really, really easy to get started with. So let's get started with the actual Koala um, extension to see what what is the, what's happening with our competitor. First of all, you want to track a website that is actually created by Shopify Shop. So I'm going to open it up, and here I'm going to tap the name of the Shopify Shop that I want to track. So in my case, I do have this Shopify store where I wanted to actually track this. If you don't know how to track the shop, if you don't know how to find products, let's say for example that I am selling some shoes and people wanted to actually, let's say, buy stuff here at Shopify. So I'm gonna open the tab. I'm gonna type here. Let's type for example, uh, let's go for my shoes that, really important to type my Shopify. But you wanted to do this of course and scythe the actually Google account. I'm going to go here into the browser here. So I don't want to actually look out for a custom URL here. I want to check it out all the elements. As you can see, we have one, two, three, four, five, a lot of things that we can choose. Let's say for example, that I go for this actual store. I open this store and I have the my shoes Mexico store. And if I go into my actual uh, extension, you might see that this one is actually a Shopify store. So this is how we can find something really, really easy. Now let's get started with the actual tracking of the spying of the actual, uh, let's say website. So in this case, let's assume that this guy is my computer. I wanted to go into track this shop and here I have the structure. Now here into the structure, we can see which are the Shopify applications that this guy have used. So for example, here, I do have a lot of elements here. Um, check it out. Check it out. I'm gonna scroll a little bit down. Check it out. How oh, is this move? This one has a candy rack upsell. This one has a Shopify application um, trial version, and then this one has for three months the contact info, the gift cards, the Facebook channel. This one has Google channel for marketing, Pinterest, get response email marketing, easy gift. Uh, two more undetected and gem page. This one should be helping them to make this store to design, I believe. So. If you scroll all the way down, you might see that this one should be appearing in here, of course, the actual uh, logo of the Shopify. But in my case, I believe that this one does not appear in here. So now let's track something else. I'm going to click now here once again. And instead of going through the, through the structure, let's go for the products. So now into the products, you can see uh, what was the first published product. When was the actual first published product? The last published product and the number of products, the highest price the lowest price and the average price. Now let's focus into the live sales. I believe that this one actually is not enabled yet into a lot of countries, but fortunately is available into us. In the live sales, I can see how many people are buying stuff here and what products are people actually buying. So this guy sold a this option for a hundred thousand, I believe a, a thousand actually um, MXN peso, the currency, the Saphir. So this one has a lot of elements and it's actually really, really working. The find retailers, you can check out the competition here, but we need of course create credits to use. So I don't want to focus a lot in that. 
the shop traffic should be helping us to use the traffic data tool to load traffic analytics about this actual shop. So I can go into load and as you can see we have monthly visits from the December 2022 into March of the 2023. So here's the traffic sources, the search bar. This one appears directly of the traffic sources, so that means that my competitor is actually doing some actual marketing because most of the people are actually coming inside the website page from a direct a direct source, not from a actual search. So that means that not a lot of people just look out for some shoes and click right away here. Those, those guys were actually incentivized to get here. And the countries, the main country here is Mexico, a hundred percent Mexico. So this guy is of course, of course, trying to do some audience research marketing only for Mexico. And this one is the, the search keyword. Intense, uh, splendid, my shoes, um, my shoes Mexico. And here into ad campaigns, we can track uh, if this guy is using some ad campaigns of Google, or Facebook, or Instagram, the shop isn't running any Instagram ads at the moment. Check it back later. There's no ads. And I believe it's okay because this guy already has uh, a lot of customers in their actual store. So this guy no longer have to start by making some ads, but making, let's say, for example, some more deals into their uh, actual socials. So there you go. So now I'm going to be showing you another one that can be helping you to look out for more stuff. This one, I'm going to copy this actual link. I'm going to go back here. And this one is called the similar web. Here into the similar web, we have three tools. You can explore the website that you're actually looking for. Once again, this one should be a Shopify store. And if you click here, this is really for free. So you can compare this actual store. Let's say we have the global rank here, the country rank, the category rank. Uh, we have the total visits, the bounce rate, the page, the pages per visit, the average visit duration, which I think is like really, really a strong, strong um, tool that can be helping us to figure it out. Like if this one is popular at the moment or not. And here into the ranking, let's see where's the similar ranking sites. So there we have the similar web tool. I scroll a little bit down and have more. I have traffic and engagement from the last month, total visit from the last month. I can scroll all the way down, geography and country targeting, United States, Canada, United Kingdom, and the gender distribution. Actually, we can even try to, to use this tool with the actual store that we have just used with this new Spire. So I'm gonna copy the link here. I'm gonna go back here. I'm gonna delete this actual page and I'm gonna paste this new one that we just previously checked it out. So there you have it, the global ranking is going really down, the country rank is going really, really down, pages per visit, total visitors, this guy is going down, of course, really, really down, the similar ranking site is going up, so uh, you have to make more research, and this one should be helping you, of course, a lot into your actual store to check it out, uh, what you need to to do to gain more audience and, and, and all of that. So um, those both tools can be helping you to get started into your store and to track your competitors to see what is the stuff that you need to do to improve some sales and to improve your website and marketing and much more. So with that being said, guys, uh, we have now reached into the very end of the video. So don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel if you'd want to see more amazing tools about this great, great uh, similar web or the other Shopify tracker of a website. Thank you so much for watching the video, guys. And hopefully I can see you next time.